So if I put my CG way up here at the front of the airplane, right? Yeah. Look at this big arm that I've got to work with. I, that's effectively a lever. You could think of this as like a wheelbarrow, right? Where the CG right. is, is where the wheel is on my wheelbarrow, making it easy for me to lift up on this. Now, if I move the wheel of my wheelbarrow way back here, well, now it's way too heavy for me. So my tail doesn't have as much force that it can apply to the aircraft. Right, yep. Does that make sense? Yes. Awesome, awesome. Um, when you end up having a CG that's forward, you end up having a higher angle of attack. And it's, it's, it's kind of weird because the, you, have an, you have a CG that's way up here, right? And that's pulling down on the airplane. So then the tail has to apply a force to pick that CG, to pick that weight up. So the tail is generating more drag. The wing also is having to pick up that extra weight. And since there's an arm between the CG and the wing, the wing, if it's making the airplane's effective weight heavier, requiring a higher angle of attack. That's why with a CG that's far forward, you have a higher stall speed. And a CG that's farther aft, you have a lower stall speed. Because when you move it aft, it usually sits a little bit more on the wing as opposed to in front of the wing. Right. Okay. I'm dropping stuff. <laughs> <laughs>